Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of decimal division with models. This is standard 5.3 F in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 22 off the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have this model here, and it represents a division equation. Now, it can be a little bit confusing here. Let's open up our graph draw feature, simply because you've got these two different models right next to each other, but they do give you the fact that this is a key. So we're not looking at this. This is where we need to be looking. Let's get our eyes right over here on that model right here. We're really not looking at the key except to kind of interpret what this model is. But since they're next to each other, I see how it can be confusing. So this key tells us that this is one whole. This whole thing right here is one whole, and it's broken up into looks like 100 one hundredths. So it's a 10 by 10 grid. All right, so we're dealing with hundredths here right or we can we can put it in decimal form like that because it looks like all of our answers can be in decimal form so there there's a uh, hundred hundredths there in decimal form so what do we actually have here uh, on our model well as you can see we don't have the entire thing filled in so if this whole thing right here is one whole this is going to be less than one whole okay Let's count. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen, twenty-four, thirty-two. All right. So I've got thirty-two of these little boxes, but we need to make sure we put it in context here. This is thirty-two out of one hundred. We've already decided the key lets us know that the whole thing is one hundred one hundredths. So this is 32 hundredths. Now, something that we spent a lot of time in looking in, in fourth grade is how to convert decimals and fractions, how to write the same thing in two different forms. So if I do my little place value chart right here, I'm going to go two spots over because this is my ones place. This is my tenths place. And we know that that second spot over from the decimal is the hundredths place. And this hundredths place matches this denominator right here. So 32 hundredths is the same as putting that 0.32. And we'll put a zero here just to kind of keep it company there. So those two equal each other out. That was a huge thing that we learned in fourth grade. 0 0.32 equals 32 over 100. So now I've converted this fractional model to this decimal form. All right, now that lets that is making me look at B here. So let's see what do we do within that fractional model. Well, it looks like I've got these four columns, right? So I've got these four columns right here. So it looks like we're going to take our 32 hundredths. We're going to divide it by 4. Ah, look at that. And there we go. What did we get in each column? 8 hundredths. And that's actually what I counted out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 hundredths. So that B looks good. Now what's wrong with A? It just doesn't bring any decimals into count. These are not whole numbers because... The whole is the entire thing. So A has got the, all the right digits. It's just as the wrong place value, right? And then this C, right? It looks like we're going to take this eighth, but we're not splitting the eighth into four equal parts. We're splitting 32 into four equal parts to get the eighth. And once again, uh, D is a kind of like C. It just doesn't use any decimals at all. So our answer here is going to be B.